right, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of this program called Number It by Laser Jumpstart. Uh, name it, number it, and batch it. I don't, I have never used Name It yet. Will in the next couple of days. I don't know what batch it is yet, but we will find out. So I've got a part number, and I named it Epilogue because I, I like Epilogue, and if I would have used our electric company, you wouldn't have been able to pronounce it. So I'm going to put, our nameplate is three inches, so I'm going to control D and make a duplicate over five times. I'm going to change our nudge distance now to one inch. Control D. And I've got 25 name badges, name tag, part number, part labels. And the only thing name is looking for is those nine A's. Now, when I did this, I center justified it before I made the copy. That's a little important. That way, when you when name it or number it, puts in the number. So I'm going to go, the target is the nine A's. And the nine A's represent the length that it'll go. It won't go any bigger than that because I'm going to limit the text. I actually put a prefix in it called motor. You have to have that dash, I think, to separate it. And in one second, two seconds, it gave you 25 part numbers numbered numerically that quick. You don't have to have the motor. You could, I pressed the wrong one. Let's just take away no motor. We're not going to hit the space car, par, space bar. We're not going to have anything. But we're going to start our, our value on 100. Three numbers. Limit the text. That doesn't really matter because it won't go beyond that. So in one second, two seconds, you've named those 24 parts. And you could put anything else in that line. Nothing else changed. In the name badge, I put a border around it and put the word epilogue electric to identify the part. Anyway, I truly hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.